Hey, it's Barrett with Espresso Outlet. Today I have a DF83 in front of us and I wanted to go over unclogging the chute of this grinder. So sometimes when you use the hopper and you're grinding quite a few beans, the chute itself might get a little bit clogged up. Uh, I've actually been trying to get mine to clog. I've tried multiple times. I've ran several pounds of beans through it and really have not been able to get it to clog. I've tried on various different settings. So I do have the SSP HE burrs in it. I really don't think that makes a difference, but just letting you know kind of how mine is set up. So I just ground about a pound and a half of beans through using the hopper. And to begin with, I'm gonna just take the hopper off and put our bellows on. And let's turn the grinder on and start by just pumping the bellows. Try to get as much out as possible. You're probably gonna make a little bit of a mess doing this. The next thing that I recommend is using kind of one of these little air bulbs. If you've not seen these, they actually do put out quite a bit of air. And I'm going to start by getting as much as I can back out. So if you want, you can put your cut back on. And I'm going to do this a few times. So in my opinion, mine's pretty much unclogged. If you absolutely need to, you can reach up in there with a small, I recommend something softer, but a small stick of sorts. Like I have this cleaning brush right here. It is just like a small piece of plastic. I recommend you can kind of see about how deep you can go. If you go much deeper than this, you're probably going to end up damaging your declumper. So I'm just gonna kind of grab my finger on there and if it's really stuck up in there, you might need to kind of fish around a little bit, get that clump out, and then continue to clean out your grinder. Now, one last thing that you can do, you can remove this upper burr and you can blow from the inside as well. So I'd probably recommend just taking it completely off. And you'll see the declumper on the inside, and that's what you want to make sure that you're not damaging when you do this. If this is the first time you've taken off your upper burr carrier, make sure to mark the orientation because if you put it in backwards, it will probably not be aligned correctly. There are some rubber wedges. We'll go over reinstalling those in a second, as well as a wave spring. So I would recommend reaching in. There's our chute right here and just using our blower or maybe a small brush to break free some of the buildup. So this grinder is clean and ready to reassemble. When we reassemble, we'll wanna make sure to put our wave spring into the grooves. Make sure that this is completely clean. You don't want any grounds in there because what it's going to do is it might make your burr slightly offset. Make sure your wave spring is in that groove and you reinstall your burr the proper way. There are these wedges. We have another video. They are narrower on one side than the other. The narrower side goes down. Put these back in. If you don't do this again, your burr might be slightly crooked as you use the grinder and you're gonna get a little bit inconsistent results. And then we're just gonna put it back together. So, it's about my zero point with these burrs. I'm gonna back them off. And I recommend just putting, you're going to probably want to re-zero this, putting your bellow back on. And let's put our cut back on one last time. And just get any of those residual grounds out. So again, this will make a bit of a mess. It's good if you have a brush. You can clean up your grinder pretty quick and easy. So it's as simple as that. It shouldn't clog very often, but it seems like it probably depends on the beans. Like if you have some more slightly oiler, oilier beans, it may cause more clogging issues. I usually run a little bit lighter. So I've tried to get mine to clog and I figured I'd try to get it to clog so I can make a good video and I just cannot get it to clog. 
But hopefully that helps you. Again, the main things to keep in mind, don't go too deep. You will damage your declumper. And I recommend if you have one of these, this is probably your best tool. They are really nice just for cleaning. You can use it on multiple different devices, but it does a really good job and does not damage your gear. So if you do need to use something soft and just be very aware of how deep you're putting it in. Cause if you're really digging in there, you're gonna, if it's the plastic one, you're gonna push it into the burrs. If it's the metal one, metal declumper, you may end up bending it and also getting it into the wipers on your burrs. So you don't wanna damage your grinder, but it's really as simple as that. I hope this helps you get it cleaned up. Thanks for watching.